Hello everyone, it's been a while. Uh, I've not posted any videos recently because I've been working on uh, this engine you see here. It's a 6.5 horsepower um, engine which has been converted to hydrogen gas. Uh, obviously some of you will know that my hydrogen gas generator uh, failed to make hydrogen anymore, it just broke. So what I've done instead is gone out and bought a uh, 150 bar hydrogen tank uh, pure hydrogen that is and that's going to be running this carburetor here it's a LPG carburetor that's been converted to run on hydrogen gas um, that's done by changing the uh, fueling ratios and altering how the butterfly valves work um, with the choke and uh, all that lot so I'm not going to go into too much detail uh, the biggest question that I keep on being asked on YouTube is uh, how does it perform under load um, it won't perform as well on hydrogen than it would do on petrol um, but you'll still get power um, another thing I've noticed as well which is what makes this quite unique is that I'm going to be pouring deionized water into the fuel system so in here I'm going to be putting deionized water and that's going to hopefully reduce some emissions by water injection and also reduce any hot spots in the cylinder um, which of course is pre-ignition hydrogen is really prone to pre-ignition in the um, backfiring out of the intake valve so by using water um, as uh, being injected when with the hydrogen it's going to reduce the hot spots and therefore stop pre-ignition so without further ado I'm going to connect up the hydrogen tank uh, do a quick walk around video with it all connected and then we'll fire it up with a heater, a 1200 watt electric heater and see how it does. That is 2.5 litres of water into the fuel tank. So again, we're using the water as a replacement for where the petrol would go. And uh, we are running hydrogen through the side of the carburetor here. As you can see, we did not push out any more water. I'm guessing there's a airlock in the fuel line, uh, stopping the fuel from coming through or maybe a couple of pulls on the engine so I'll do that now there we go pulled on the engine cord a few times now the water is flowing through the carburetor pushing out any leftover petrol inside and the fuel line is clear so let's connect the hydrogen okay so we've taken the generator outside now and we've connected it up to the pure hydrogen gas tank here, this is 150 bar as you can see there, just shy of or just over should we say. Uh, it is connected to the carburetor at the bottom, uh, we're going to be running this at about 3 psi uh, and we're hoping that this will run for about 4 hours but we'll, we'll see how we get on. Uh, we've connected it up to a load here, this load is 1200 watts. It is a heater. It outputs at max temperature straight away, just from the on off here. So there's no variable in temperature, it's just 120 watts straight away, or 1200 watts straight away. I'm just going to jig the engine round, turn on the gas, and fire it up.
de faire, je vais expliquer, il y a une carte de Hydron Man, c'est déjà plus qui est Et aussi, il y a aussi le Rav Gengen, par les Gordon. 